Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel. I'm going to do your reading for you and this is a timeless reading. So this is for whenever you feel drawn to hear this message. Also this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Then it was not meant for you. All right. We have Seven of Wands, we have Queen of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords, Strength, High Priestess, Ten of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and the Star. So I feel like it's, you know, having hope, staying positive, being strong, being confident, believing in yourself, and that you'll get past this. I feel like you might be in a little bit of a questioning, kind of um, doubting, um, a little bit of a struggle right now because we have the star card as an overall energy. So that's, you know, having faith and believing that this may just be a challenge or a test for you on how badly you want something or, or you know, can you get get over this that you're stronger than you think you are, all right? I feel like with the strength card being right there next to the star, I feel like it's showing you that you're stronger than you think you are and that you can handle this, that you've got this, that you you can, you can get through this, you can push through. So for current energies, we have the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Strength. And that is about standing up for what you believe in, rising above a situation, and there may be a friend that maybe disappointed you or let go, let, let, let you down, that deceived you, that maybe there's some friends or some people that are talking about you behind your back, but it's like, you know what, you, they can go ahead and say all that they want to say. You're not going to let that bother you. And I know that that's really hard to ignore and it's hurtful, but you don't want to give that situation you don't want to give that five of swords. You don't want to give these people back here your energy, your power, okay? You want to take that. You want to stand up yourself and hold that sword and say, I'm standing up for me. If you don't like it, then that's your problem, not mine. This is how I feel. This is me. And I'm not going to let other people affect me. I'm not going to let you drag me down, okay? Build up that confidence, being strong, facing a situation. Maybe there's a situation that you have to face, you know, and it's about being strong and confident because your beliefs in this situation are so strong and you have to stand up for yourself and say what it is that you believe and not feel badly about that. Um, whatever that situation may be, whatever this five of swords represents for you, um, is you, I feel like it's you standing up for that because that, the strength card is looking right at this card, saying, yeah, I'm gonna rise above this situation. I'm going to say what I need to say. I'm gonna say my point of view or how I'm feeling. Or for you to just walk away and say, you know what, I'm not even dealing with you. I'm not even giving you my energy or my time. All right, for future energies, we have High Priestess, Ten of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and Eight of Swords. I feel like it's that relief, like you dealing with this situation when you feel the time is right, that you're like, yeah, I did it, you know? I don't have this burden on my back anymore. I feel stronger. I didn't realize that I could do this, that I could get through this, that I had that power in me. And patting yourself on the back and saying, yeah, I did it and not feeling like you're holding yourself back anymore, not feeling bound or, or closed in or um, feeling like you can't take control of a situation. It's like you are ready to take that control of the situation. But knowing, I feel like there's a little spark inside of you that says that it believes in you and have that build to become bigger and bigger and and to show you that yeah you really do have that fight that strength inside of you and you kind of knowing all along yeah I knew I could do it but I just you know sometimes we know we can do something but it's like actually doing it you know it's like I don't know all right we have the king of pentacles king of pentacles is somebody who is patient somebody who is a hard worker 
somebody who is reliable, okay? Somebody that has kind of that quiet strength. And I feel like that's you, having that quiet strength. Almost like people not even really realizing it. And they're like, whoa, I didn't know that was going on inside there. All right? Thinking things through, okay? And it's almost like knowing that you're strong because he's kind of dreaming about being this this night on the horse, okay? Those dreams and having those beliefs and those confidence and saying, yeah, I can take charge of this situation. I can do it. Having that faith and belief in yourself. You have to have it in yourself first. Other people can definitely do that for you, but you're the one who has to have the courage to to take care of this, whatever this is, okay? Uh, we have the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. So I definitely feel that there's somebody who was sneaky, somebody who was hurt, somebody who betrayed you, somebody who let you down. That there's a situation that definitely, whatever this is, whatever this represents for you, whether that's your own um, thoughts or belief that you have within yourself, that um, if you're feeling like you can't, you're talking yourself out of those things, or it has to do with a friend or a person um, that let you down, that kind of has you in that energy. All right, the Nine of Pentacles. The feeling and the rewards for standing up to a situation and realizing that you're stronger than you thought we were, you were is absolutely priceless. It's a feeling that you can't describe. It's a feeling that... I don't know. It's, it's hard to say because I've had my moments where I've, I've done things and I'm like, oh, wow. You know, I surprised myself. I didn't know I was in and I'm so proud of myself and giving myself a pat on the back. And I feel like that's you giving yourself a, a pat on the back and, and feeling that, that nine of pentacles, that those rewards for, yeah, I really took hold of the situation. I took control of the situation. I didn't give my energy into the situation. I took control and I dealt with it, whether it was your own self-doubt or it has to do with someone, someone else's energy. Three of cups, feeling happy, feeling feeling excited because you listened to that inner voice and you believed in you. You believed in you. Go team you. All right. Go team Pisces. You can do it. Okay. You believing in you. Judgment, awakening, renewal, revival, having that aha moment, realizing, hey, I'm stronger than I thought I was. I didn't think I could handle this situation. Having that belief in yourself, opening your eyes to, yeah. I can take on these challenges, that I'm not going to let these challenges take control of me, all right? That I, I can do it. I'm stronger and than I thought I was. Again, Nine of Pentacles, so you have that, that again, as those rewards, those feelings, that good feeling of, yes, I did it, justice, things falling in your favor. Things are happening for you, Pisces. You're learning and you're growing, okay? Things are starting to happen for you. You're letting go of that self-doubt, okay? You're letting go of the negativity. You're letting go of those people that are hurtful or saying things that are bothering you or that are not positive for you. You're letting that go and you are transitioning and you are transforming into a stronger, better you and you're not holding yourself back from things. That you're going for it. You're going for it, Pisces. All right, you're changing. You're choosing better for yourself. You're the one who has to look out for you. You can't put that on other people. You have to do it for yourself. You have to look out for you. You have to make the choices that are best for you. And then surround yourself with those people that appreciate and see that and embrace that. Listening to that inner voice. I feel like there's that voice. Look at that. And I looked at the next card and guess what it is? The strength card again. You are stronger than you think you are. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, Pisces, okay? You are stronger than you think. Be confident. Handle those situations. You know you have that inside you. You know you've got that. Embrace that. It's scary. It's scary, scary, scary. It can be unnerving, but it's so satisfying and rewarding. And you'll be happy that you did. All right, so let's pull an animal oracle card to close out this beautiful reading. I love it. Self-empowerment. Love, love, love it. 
Look at that. Wombat spirit. Be at home. Being safe. Feeling secure within yourself. Okay? Being true to you. Being true to you. Being at home. Not, not feeling... It's that home feeling that, you know, being at home, feeling safe, feeling secure, knowing that you can trust yourself to make the best decisions for yourself. All right, let's see if one more wants to come out. I'm so excited for you, Pisces. Love this reading. Oh, look at that. Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery and you never know what's going to be thrown at you. You never know what's going to come at you, you know. You never know what's going to happen. But having that confidence that saying, I can handle what's ever being thrown at me. I can handle it. I can do it. I can take charge of it. I'm not going to let the situation take in char charge of me. I'm going to take control of it. Life is a mystery. You don't know what's going to happen, but feeling that confidence and that strength to handle it and to embrace and enjoy those happy moments that come towards you. To embrace and enjoy those nine of pentacle moments where it's so rewarding and it feels so good and just soaking that in and, and feeling that energy and remembering that so that when challenges do come up, you're like, oh, I'm going to go back to that nine of pentacles energy and I know I want to feel like that again. I want to feel like that again. All right. I'm so passionate and excited for you, Pisces. I really am. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.